to education on the Gulf Coast. We are just over a week away from the start of the new school year in Mobile County, and there is a rift brewing between the school system and the teachers' union. It's something we definitely noticed today at New Teacher Orientation. News 5's Emily DeVoe is live at the school system's central office to explain. Emily? Well, the Alabama Educators Association represents the teachers and the employees of the school system, so sometimes they do have to go head-to-head -head against the school board, so they don't always see eye-to-eye. -eye. So when they found out that their invitation to uh, new teacher orientation was pulled, you know, it's hard not to take that personally. Now, the school system says this wasn't uh, an attack on a specific group. It was something they did with all vendors because it fit better with their schedule for orientation. Come on down here. We appreciate y'all. We're glad you're coming for lunch. Normally, the Alabama Educators Association wouldn't be meeting with teachers in the parking lot of a Winn-Dixie. Friday, they found out they were no longer invited to new teacher orientation. We were obviously very disappointed, uh, not just for us, but for those teachers who need this information and, and these services that we provide. AEA Director Jesse McDaniel says they've helped serve lunch at orientation for nearly 20 years, and the sudden change raises some questions. We technically are not a vendor. We are the professional organization for public school employees, so um, you know, there's some question marks more than anything as far as why now? We don't understand. It's not specific for any organization or any vendor. It's for everyone uh, through that, that comes in and interacts in the Mobile County Public School System. Superintendent Martha Peake says this isn't an attack on AEA, but rather a shift in orientation scheduling. We looked at that and thought, how can we really make sure it's focused, that there's not any interruptions, that people come in and we go right into our program. All the same, the decision certainly caught the AEA by surprise. The superintendent is also responding tonight to budget shortfalls in their savings account or their reserves account, and you'll have the superintendent's reaction tonight at 6.30. Reporting live outside the central office, I'm Emily DeVoe, News 5.